Hello friends, welcome to our final day of VBS, VBS day number five. So yesterday we got to learn about the parable of the talents and remember our memory verse was whatever you do, you do it with all your heart because you're doing it for God. So today's lesson, our final lesson, hmm, should I tell you or not? I think I'll let you guys find out, but just get ready for today's lesson. It's going to be an amazing time in God's presence. Good morning, children. Are we excited to be here on day five? Can you imagine day five, our last day of VBS? For sure, I am not excited. I would wish to do this again and again. Let us welcome the presence of the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to come before your Holy Throne this morning, Jehovah. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit in our present, even as we teach our children, so that they may be able to understand and partake of the word and practice it out there, O oh God. Father, the Holy Spirit, take control. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. Do you remember what you learned about yesterday? How many can remember? Me, I can remember. You learned about the parable of the talent. And today we are going to do the parable of the sower. How many understand what sower is? Anyone? Well, I will explain to you. Sower is another word of saying planting. So we are going to use the word sower instead of planting. And you remember in the olden days we did not have things like tractors and the modern farming that we see today. But they used the local farming systems whereby they would use with, they would plow with cows, they would dig with their own hands, and things like those. Now I'm going to teach you about the parable of the sower. Jesus was seated at the beach, and the crowd started becoming so big and overwhelming. He decided to go into the boat and float away, but he was shouting loudly so that everyone could hear. Maybe that is what we can say today, social distancing. 
Jesus took social distancing into the waters to preach about the sower. You see that uh, when you read through the book of Luke, chapter 8, verse 4 to 15, this is where our story comes from today. You will see that they were the four place, different places that they planted, the, the farmer planted the seeds. And you can see with me, I have beans and maize. The first place where the farmer planted was on the pathway. And this is where people could walk, animals, and all kinds of things. So the seeds could not germinate because they were destroyed by the people moving on top of them or animals. So they died off. The farmer continued. He did not stop there. He threw others on the rock. And on the rock, they grew, but because it was, there was no moisture, they died along the way. And so they could not germinate. And like on the pathway, you see, even the birds could come and eat them off. So you have nothing. The farmer still did not give up. He continued. He continued with planting. He planted in a thorny place. What happened? Who can tell me? Yes, they grew, but they did not make it. Why? Because the thorns choked them in between and killed them. So we have nothing. You remember the first place we planted on the pathway? People came and stepped on them and killed them. The birds came, fed on the, on the beans and the maize, and there was really nothing left. On the third place, the thorns choked them and died. Now the farmer did not give up. The farmer continued and now found a good soil and planted the seeds. Guess what happened? Oh yes, they grew, they did so well. Why? There was no interference. There was no one to eat them up. No one to, no, there was a lot of water, sunshine and rain regulated as per the climatic conditions of that area. What am I telling you? The seed simply signifies your heart. What kind of heart do you have, children? Be very honest with me. How many of you can identify with the four different places that Jesus sowed the seed using the farmer? This simply tells us there are some of us who will hear the word of God and literally do nothing. And some of us are there. But today is your day to come back to the Lord because now you know the word. There are those who will hear the word and take it up in joy. But at the end of it, they'll still not do anything about it. There are those who will hear the word. And when they start doing and sharing with others as evangelism, along the way they go back into the worldly things. So again, it does not help us. And finally, you see that if those who hear the word do the word and transform it through teaching other children and even your parents. Those are the good soil. So how many are going to be good soil? Me, I want to be among the good soil. So we are going to pray so that God may help you not to be the path, neither the rock or the thorny place, but you will be the, gra the good ground where things will germinate and grow and, re and, 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 and re replicate. Are we together children? So the main thing that I want you to understand is uh, the, that the condition of a person's heart is determined by the response of the word of God. The condition of our hearts are determined by the word of God. To recognize the condition of that heart, we need to continuously pray, read our Bible every day so that we may continue growing and growing. Other than growing thin, thin, we do not want to shrink. Let us do what God is telling us to do. Read our Bibles every day. Let us do our memory verses every day. Even to our children in the estates, our parents, let us be the new generation that is going to serve God wholly. I want to thank you for your time. I bless you. I speak a word of blessing to each, of, to each one of you so that you may continue growing and being the good soil that the Lord wants us to be. Are we going to read our Bible every day? Good. Are we going to do the scripture memory verses? Are we going to pray for each other? Thank you. I now want to welcome Teacher Nikki to do for us uh, the memory verse of this lesson. 
But then I would tell you, I want you to be the doers of the word and not only the hearers of this word. Amen? Amen. Before the memory verse, I would like us to pray and I want to pray especially for those who have a pathway heart, a rocky heart and a thorny heart. So are we together? Can we pray? And by show of hands, can I see those with a pathway? Okay. Can I see those who have a rocky heart? Thank you, amen. You will change. Can I see those who have a thorny heart? Okay, let us pray. All you need to do is just believe. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to come before your holy throne. This time, my Father, thanking you, worshiping you, and praying for the heart that has good soil, that is going to germinate our, our plants and grow them into what you want us to be, Jehovah. Lord, we want to come against the spirit of a heart that is like a pathway, a heart that is like a rocky place, Jehovah. Lord, a heart that is full of thorns, oh God. No one is gonna be choked by the thorns, Jehovah. Not anymore, Jehovah. We commit each and every child who has requested for a different prayer to be given a heart of a good soil, oh God. Lord, may you bless them wherever they are and wherever they are watching us from, oh God, so that they may be blessed with a good heart that is going to germinate good soil, oh King of glory. I pray all this trusting through your Son and Savior Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Just say amen and receive and refrain from those different types of uh, places that we have seen the farmer planting. Only stick to the good soil. Now, can you allow me to welcome Tichaniki to come and give us the memory verse of today. Thank you so much, Teacher Jackie, and I pray for you guys that you're going to have a heart just like the good soil. Today's memory verse comes from the book of James chapter 1 verse 22. James chapter 1 verse 22 and it says, But be doers of the word and not only hearers of the word only. But be doers of the word and not only hearers of the word only. Amen. Welcome today. Are you ready to have fun? Oh, yes, I am. And we're going to have an awesome game based on the lesson for today. Soil and the seed that fell on the various types of soil. And now I have a chart right here. So pick a big paper. Divided into four and you can see there are various types of soil, right? The seed fell on various types of soil. The good soil, tony, rocky, hard, all right? A point to note, every soil has different points. The rocky soil, 20 points. Hard soil, 30. Hard soil, 10, sorry. Tony soil, 30. Good soil, 40 points. Here is the seed and now we have a contestant. You can pose, have a big paper, divide it in four, and grab your friend. And we are about to have some nice time. Ready? All right. Let me get my contestant. My contestant is called Jackie. She's blindfolded. Can you see? Where is my hand? All right, Jackie. Where is my hand? All right. Now, Jackie, I'm going to place this seed in your hand. All right. And I'm going to spin you and you'll point the seed on, on a place on this paper. All right. Let's see how Jackie does. Move back. No, 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 no. Move back. Right, right, right. And ready, Jackie? Ready, Jackie? And let's go. Ding, 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 ding. And two. Let's see. Jackie got the good soil. Wow, well done, Jackie. Well done. Let's have another round. She already has 40 points. You too. Keep your score. Let's have the seed. All right. And let's move slightly back, Jackie. Ready? Ready? 
Ding, 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 ding. Let's go, Jackie, let's go. And there we go. We'll need to continue spinning, Jackie. Yeah. Yeah. And let's go, Jackie. All right. Let's see what Jackie has got. She got the hard soil this time. Hmm. Well, good try, Jackie. Good try. Let's have the final round. Remember, you're spinning someone. Let's have the final round. Are you ready for the final round? And which way? That way? This way? That way. Okay, let's go. 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 Yes, Jackie. Go, 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 Jackie. Go, Jackie. Way. Let's see. No soil. Oh. Don't worry, Jackie. Well done. You have 40 plus 10. That is 50, 50 points. Oh, you've done well today. And dear friends, what type of soil do you want to be in? Remember the seed is God's word. Your heart is the type of soil. Is it rocky? Is it thorny? Is it hard? Is it good soil? How can you make your heart good soil? By reading your word, praying daily, that you may grow and grow and grow. After VBS, you grow and grow and grow. And after VBS, you grow and grow and grow and grow. Let's go, Jackie. You grow and grow and grow and grow, grow and grow and grow and grow. And grow.
Wow, that has been an awesome week. I had so much fun. Sissy, did you have fun? Can you remember everything that we got to learn? Yes, we can remember everything that we learned. We learned how many parables? Five parables. Can you remember and say with me? Yes, we can say it together. Day one we did the parable of the hidden treasure. Day two, the parable of the unmerciful servant. And day three, the parable of the mustard seed and the yeast. And day four, we did the parable of the talent. And today we did what? The parable of the sower. Yeah, it was so, so much to have all of you kids participate in this week's VBS. And I know we had so much fun. I know you played the games, you did the memory verse and the lessons each and every day. I want you to share your crafts with us so that you can see what you've been doing throughout the week. And we are going to share with them and show other children what you did. Do you know what you can still do? You can still share the link with your friends so that they get to do VBS in their own special time. We want to thank you so much for being there and we loved being with you guys and we miss you so much and above all we love you so much. Until next time, bye bye.